by viewer request how do I make the documents that are associated with these videos. Let's get started. To begin with, I use a worksheet, not document mode. I have used document modes for some things. I recommend it only for people who have a fair amount of experience with Maple. Then, after zooming, I have a tendency to change the show hide of the execution group. So here's some execution groups, here's some text groups, things like that. Here's an execution group. So now, select view, show hide, execution group boundaries. And now, it you don't see the boundaries and it looks cleaner and the execution information is still there. So let's create a title. So what I'm going to do, instead of using the styles, I will create an execution group here. I'm going to center this. So I'm going to use the center autograph, and, uh, center, a paragraph. Then I put in my title. I can change the font. If I select it all, I could, for example, change it to 16. I can bold it. I can italicize it. I won't italicize it here. Okay, and if I enter, enter, we can make some more comments. If I don't like that font size, I can select it and select it and turn it to 14. How do I delete the top line? Control or Command Delete. Next, I want to create sections, so I click on the Sections button. Now, this is how I put the header for the section. Headers can also be changed in font size, and yours may default to 18. I have set it up so that mine is default to 14. Now if I had to hit enter, now I can put the text in, and also my coding, and if I want, I can put in more execution groups. When I'm ready to get out of the section, I click on T to get it create a text group, and then I click on Get Out, and now I'm out of it, and now I can actually create another section. Let's say at some point I want to make a subsection, so there's a text group. I'll make a subsection. I click on it, and here's my subsection. Changing color size is not very difficult at all. I can then select, say, my header here, and I can go over here to T, and then I can select green, and now my header is in green. You may notice that my plots are smaller than yours. That's because I set up in the Maple initialization file, which is a different video, with the fact that my default size is going to be closer to 300 by 300. Finally, if you have a particular style that you like, you can export it under Format, Manage Styles, Export Style Set, and it will say what do you want to default, and let's say we we'll select all of them, okay. And then the question is where do you want to put it? I tend to put mine into my driver, uh, into the folder that has my maple information. I leave that to you as to where you put that. Notice in my version I have actually created a template that I have stored under maple and that is my user defined. So whenever it goes and uses a template this is the style template it uses from. But again you can select and find it from other places as well. So more about styles again. So this here is some text, more text. And let's say what we want to do, and here's some more text here. Boy, I can spell well. Okay, what you can do is if you want to change all the text look in here instead of just selected sections, you can look under Format, Styles, and then you have to essentially 
look for what you're going to change. And there's all sorts of different styles, including author and bullet points and heading ones. There's the heading, how to change your heading one, um, and title and stuff. And I, I don't use that much. But I certainly use text, and then I'll select on modify. And this is where I can change it to some other format. So I'll select 12. I'll say it's of size 12. And then I'll use something that is odd, such as... Well, maybe not odd, Garamon, and I'll select OK, and then I'll select OK, and now it's in the Garamon font, although that was harder to tell, but you might have noticed it might be slightly different. Um, but you can see now the default is Garamon. And clearly, since I can't spell, which is a goodly problem of mine, I go up under Tools, and there is the spell check, and it will look for bad words. It's not a bad spell checker. It will catch the dumbest of things. Unfortunately, there is no grammar checker in Maple. In addition to having sections and subsections and plots, I also include a table. So if you select insert table, and then it will say how many rows and how many columns. I often use just one row and two columns. And there's the information here. And this is where you can put stuff in. And in fact, not only that, but you can put execution groups inside your table. And if necessary, you can copy and paste into the other table, other side of the table. Um, it looks pretty good. If you don't like the label numbers, you can look, go under Format, Execution Labels, and you can either do the whole uh, worksheet or just this execution group worksheet. And in regarding a tables, if you like the formatting of the tables, and by the way, you can always move the border line, okay? And But you don't like the seeing the lines of the table. This is one of the few times I use the context panel. So I'll select the context panel. I'm in the table. Oops, let's, let's get out of there here. I'm in the table. So you can see the table. And I can remove all the exterior borderlines. So those are gone, even though when you put your mouse over it, you see it. And if necessary, under tables, I can also, the interior borders, I can select none as well. And so now you can see that the two are, are next to each other but the border lines are now gone. So before I generate a PDF, I always select this particular button, which changes to the print or view as you print type situation. And then what I do is I'll go through and I'll make sure that, oops, there's a line that's gonna go through some of my content. So I'll put my cursor here and hit control enter and that will put a page break there and now the page break will not go directly through um, part of some important sections and at that point then i can either file export as a pdf okay uh, which i may do here is yep overwrite that's fine okay or if I, and this occasionally may pull as a bug here, it doesn't print the arrows properly in a function. I'll select file, print. See, there's the print. And then my name is going to be print to PDF. And again, I will overprint write the PDF I already have. And by doing so, you can see that the PDF has been made with separate pages. If you don't remember how to enter a page break at certain locations, you can select insert page break and that's where it goes. So one of the problems though is when you're in this, it tends to get smaller and I like to make my content bigger and you can't chant control the chain, uh, the zoom size. So you have to go back up to here and turn this off the print layout mode and we're back to this. Unfortunately, it goes back to normal and I like to make mine larger. I change the zoom size by holding my control or a command button down and then uh, using the wheel on my mouse. So that's a laid back way of explaining how I do most of my uh, document creation. It's very 
artsy you can do it any way you want but there's a lot of control in making a maple document if you have specific questions leave them down in the comments